is something you can't do. Don't even watch it with your parents. Don't watch it with your auntie. Don't watch it. Just watch it by yourself or watch it with your partner because, you know, it might inspire some things. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Thank you for being back. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of a different video today. The reason why I'm doing this video is, if you remember, just after, you know, um, lockdown and, you know, we were staying at home and what have you, I put up a Instagram um, question thing where I was asking people what kind of Netflix shows that they could recommend for me to watch. Right. Because I had all the time in the world and I was sitting at home and I thought to myself, you know, I would really love to watch some Netflix shows. Um, I have all the time in the world. So that's exactly what I did. Um, some other things fell away because I was watching so much Netflix, but even aside from that, um, I wanted to share with you guys some of my personal Netflix favorites uh, that I really, really highly recommend that you watch. They, some are funny, all of them are series, series. Um, some are funny, some are quite adult, um, some are quite tragic, some are documentaries of what has actually happened. Um, yeah, so I wanted to give you a little bit of a recommendation. I'm not typically, if you're looking for something that's very young adult, YA, and all these funny shows like Love is Blind and all of that, I don't, I don't watch things like that. So I just want to put out that kind of disclaimer out here now before I go on to recommend some of my favorites. Let me get my book. These animated series was a big, big love when I watched Netflix. Some of them I watched before um and some i continued watching on netflix and uh yeah so i'm gonna give some of my recommendations first things first okay first things first family guy now this is a this this comedy mess mayhem um i used to watch back in the day but then netflix gave us all the episodes and gave us all the 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 madness of um peter griffin and his family and stewie and uh brian and all of that if you want good healthy satirical funny dark comedy um just just really mayhem but but just really a good time uh, Family Guy is definitely one of the comedy series I would definitely recommend. It's not for kids. It's animated, but it's definitely not for kid kids. Uh, but it's really, really good. Really, really good. The second animated one is uh, Big Mouth. And Big Mouth I started watching before I rewatched it again on Netflix. That's how good it is, right? Um, so it's great. It follows a bunch of kids <laughs> that have just tapped into puberty and now they have these puberty monsters that follow them around everywhere so the whole it's it's dark again it's funny um it just tackles the whole uh period of puberty life really really well um and it's done by i forgot the the comedian I forgot his name but it's really funny and follows just these group of students young kids um, girls and guys more specifically um, guys and it follows them with their puberty monster and the sick twisted thoughts that go on in little kids minds when they are around the puberty stage so so funny really really funny if you want to just laugh and not think about it Definitely really really funny. Another one is uh, Just one last animated one is Bojack Horseman now This one I kept on watching on and off on and off, but it's really good. It's really good also quite dark, but um, Satirical the jokes are quite smart and everything really really a great animated series. It follows um, the life of Bojack it, don't 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 get puzzled by it because there's there's like animals and then people as well but it's like it's like a mix you know it's like it's like a mix of animals and people that talk animals that talk and people and how they're all friends and all of that blah blah but nevertheless um 
Bojack Horseman is really, really nice because it's it's just funny. It follows the life of Bojack, who is literally like a washed up Hollywood, ex-Hollywood actor who's trying to, um, you know, sort out his life. He's He drinks a lot, holds a lot of parties. He's kind of washed up. He's not getting any work. And he enlists the... Um, he wants to write like a, a memoir of himself so he enlists um the help of a ghostwriter but it's really really funny definitely something that if you like animated shows but for grown-ups like watch that one more comedy series that i must mention is grace and frankie now i binge watched grace and frankie so much during the lockdown period i just whew, I loved it. I loved it from the moment I started watching it to the moment it ended. It follows basically two, two grandmas who were married to their husbands, to their respective husbands, who happen to also work together. But now the thing is, the series kicks off with the husbands calling their wives together and telling them that they're in love with each other. So the husbands are gay and it's just... Ah, it's a feel-good comedy. It, it really reminds me of comedy series that are more on the likes of Will and & Grace and um, what other comedy series did I really like? No, David, let's just leave it at Will & Grace. It reminds me of those kinds of comedy series. Feel good, but really nice, but also really funny to watch. Um, and I binged watch that. So, like... Whew, I think it's got like four seasons or five seasons and I really binged watched the crap out of that series so so good so so good moving on to drama ish you know i don't have many to mention here hello are we okay yeah. the more the more serious kinds of kinds of series definitely another recommendation is when they see us this is from it's a four part um i wouldn't say a docky i wouldn't say it's a movie because it's in four parts but it's from ava it's done by it's directed by ava duvernay a Wrinkle in Time. If you watched A Wrinkle in Time, then you would know who Ava, Ava DuVernay is. But it's really, really tough to watch. One thing that I must mention, it's it's not easy to watch because it follows the story of the Central Park Five. These are five black young men who were falsely accused. Should I have said falsely accused? Maybe you should have watched it to see. But anyway, if you haven't watched it, these, it follows the story of these five men who are falsely accused of um, harming, without giving too much away, harming a woman. A, yeah, yeah. Let me just leave it at that. It's really, really, it follows the story of just whew, the police. It's very poignant. It's very poignant for right now, for now, during this time, during this. Are we okay? I don't know. Yeah. It's hard to watch, but. It's hard to watch, but it's really, really good. It's worth the watch. Definitely, definitely. Another one is Gypsy. So Gypsy literally bumped into it, hey? I literally bumped into Gypsy. I'm not going to lie. I was just like, okay, let me try one episode. Turned out I binged watched it like crazy. It was so nice. It follows the story of a psychologist who gets a little bit too involved with her patient's lives to such a point where she forms a little bit of a relationship with one of her patient's partners. Anyway, really, really good. Uh, not for kids, definitely for grown folks. Um, yeah, she's married. She's, it, it tackles a lot of issues about, you know, oneself and um, are you really happy with the life that you have? And, um, you know, parts of you that you hide away, that you really, really love, but you hide away once you reach a certain stage of your life. It's really, really nice. So enjoyable to watch. Another one is The Affair. Now, <sighs> The Affair is a lot. It's a lot. It's, 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 it's that series where you have to take breaks. You just cannot watch it all in one go. You can't binge watch it because there's a point where you're going to get so freaking upset or you're going to get so sad or you're going to get like, why? There's, there's just a lot of huh moments. Like, why? What? What? 
but I really love the series purely because it um, highlights the complexities of relationships, more especially marriages, because it is what it says, the affair. Um, but it highlights the complexities that if somebody, you know, has an indiscretion, a part of yours has an indiscretion, it's not that easy to just walk away. It's easy for us to say, oh, if he cheats or if she cheats, I'm going to walk away, blah, blah. But it shows human, um, you know, just conflict you know, complexities of relationships, you know, can you actually fix it? What did, 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 it's, it's, it's the, the dialogue. Yeah, it's for grown folks. There's a lot of chitty, chitty, bang, bang that happens in that series. So definitely not for kids, but it's a really good series. It's just a little bit of a mind. But it's a really, really good series. Definitely try it out. Okay, before I move to the ones that are more like dockies, I definitely need to mention She's Gotta Have It. Now, not for kids. Definitely not for kids. Um, but it follows the story of a struggling, like, artist, Nola Darling. And it follows her life, her relationships, the complexities of her relationships. She's uh, freely and unapologetically herself. She's uh, dating a lot of people at once. And... <laughs> It's really good. Again, the dialogue in this one is really, really nice as well. Just entertaining. This one is really entertaining. There's, there's parts where it's funny. There's parts where, you know, you think a lot about, you know, especially being a female, when you think about how, how people judge you for who you're with or the kind of life that you live or whatever, whatever, this taps into things like that, conversations like that. Really, really good. And yeah she's just unapologetically herself you'd have to watch it for you to see what i mean by that and yes also a lot of chili chili bang bang that happens in this one so definitely something you can't do don't even watch it with your parents don't watch it with your auntie don't watch it just watch it by yourself or watch it with your partner because you know it might inspire some things but don't watch it with parents or whatever please don't there's a lot of chili chili bang bang a lot a lot um, and then the last two, I watched a lot more than this, but really, I don't want to make this video too long. The last two that I watched were Dockies, and one is Tiger King. If you haven't watched Tiger King, <laughs> okay, I'm serious. If you haven't watched Tiger King, you definitely need to jump on to Tiger King. It's so funny, but it's true. So it's a documentary of what really, really happened. Um... But it's so funny. It's it it follows the life of I forgot what's his name? Joe. He's arrested now. Joe somebody. Joe, right? I don't know. But this um man who owned a park that has uh wild cats and breeds wild and tigers, uh wild cats and what have you. And it follows his life fighting with this woman called Carol Baskin. Carol Baskin. It's so funny. It's, it's, it's funny, but it's tragic. It's sad at the same time. If you're somebody who's very big on animals and animal rights and what have you, definitely it's not a series that you, uh, a documentary you'd enjoy. Um, but really, if you just want to see the whole, you know, how in the states people can buy wildlife and just the rules behind owning a park with wildlife and all of that blah 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 but it just also follows really a story between this disagreement between Carol Baskins Carol Baskins and Joe Joe who Joe who oh one more documentary I am into I I really like heavy and dark material. Whether I'm reading or watching, I really like heavy and dark things. So following the life of serial killers, that's that's a thing. Okay? For me that's a thing. I I'm intrigued and into things like that. So on on uh Netflix there is the Ted Bundy tapes and Ted Bundy um, is a household name, I'm sure. If you're somebody who is into crime stories and crime channels and you like following the life of serial killers, Ted Bundy is one of the most prolific serial killers. He's no longer alive. However, the Ted Bundy tapes follows his 
his life, his murder spree and and how he got caught and blah 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 but yeah how smart he was how smart he was for actually yeah to evade the police for that long and all of that it's so 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 interesting definitely worth the watch I do want to mention however one show that I did not I didn't watch per, past the first episode because I was just like ah uh ah -uh. money heist I know this is really contentious and a lot of people loved money heists for me no we watched one episode of it and we were like <laughs> no it seemed very telenovela ish you know and it seemed like it it just mm, no no not kind of no no anyway that's pretty much it from me i hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel like it was like all over the place but these were some of uh, my favorite netflix watches um there's other series that i would like to mention now they're not on netflix series they're not on netflix but i watch them on dstv killing eve and liar great if you can get hold of those series again also very uh adult content you know serial killer one of them is a is an assassin in Killing Eve and blah 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 and Laya ish Laya's got heavy heavy material so I definitely suggest that you watch those uh, even though they're not on Netflix but that's pretty much it from me what are you watching on Netflix I just won't have time to be watching Netflix anymore given the fact that I am back at work I won't have time um, but also that I actively want to read more now so instead of watch netflix i would opt to read so yeah but if there is anything you are watching that you would definitely think i would enjoy on netflix let me know but that's pretty much it please uh subscribe please like this video if you really enjoyed it and also please click the notification bell so that you know every time i upload until then i'll see you in the next video bye